Lads, what is going on, Gonfia? Today, I'm bringing you another hybrid squad builder. Uh, basically, I'm going to be, next week, I'm going to get my channel right back on track. This week, I've been up and downs. I mean, I've got a part-time job, Black Ops 2 came out, and everything's just been up and down. I've been trying to balance so many different things. So, next week, my channel will be back like properly. I'll be doing other sorts of videos as well as squad builders. But for, for today, we have got a hybrid builder, a beastly little team. It's a mix of Russian players, got Spanish league player, and the rest of the Premiership, but it's, it's still a quality team. I'm going to get straight into it. So, in goal, first off, we've got our first inform. It's going to be Igor Akinfeev. I'm sure that's how you pronounce his name. This guy puts his life on the line. He saved me in so many games. I mean, I, I'm going to tell you about something else a little bit more further on in the video, but this guy saved me so many times. I mean, 90 reflexes, 89 diving. You can see what I'm talking about, but one on one. He seemed to get exposed one-on-one -on -one so many times where my defence was just... I'll tell you more about it in a minute. But he was there to save me every single time. And I got so much respect for this guy. He's such a beast keeper. I'll definitely be using him again. He is nothing but recommended. Look at his stats. He's even got an 82 kick as well. So he can... You know, having a good kick on a keeper is brilliant because you can set the strikers off. Good handling. Good positioning. Good speed. Good reflexes and amazing diving. So his stats are really good. He's definitely worth 53k, lads. And he was just brilliant. So about then, first off, we have got this guy, Marcano. This is where the problem started. Um, I chucked him in for chemistry and because I thought, you know what, he looks decent. 74 defending, 70 pace, 72 pass and 71 heading for a silver card. Looks very, very good. Now, this guy wasn't very promising at all. He was just leaving me exposed every time. I'm not sure if it was his work rate. I'm not sure what it was, but his balance was terrible. Uh, he just didn't seem like he could defend. He, he just lost his head, and I did not rec. I do not recommend him. I did not enjoy using this guy. I mean, you look at him, you think he's Spanish, and he's in the Russian league. You can make immense hybrids, lads. I don't recommend this guy. You can give him a try, but he will leave you wide open. Trust me. Next to him, we had someone who was trying to make up for the mistakes made by him, and that is Antonio Ferreira. Decent defender because obviously he's got the 81 pace, and he's Brazilian in the in the Russian league. So that's another. You can build millions of hybrids out of it. But this guy, he was there. He was sweeping up. He was trying to do, trying to recover when this guy was just always out of position. Missing tackles. His marking was poor. Antonio Ferreira was trying to clean up. He's not the best centre-back in my opinion. His defensive skills aren't too good. He is mainly just pace. But he's a lot better than Marcano, I'll put it that way. He's six foot three as well. So even though he had a 67 header, he does win a lot of headers because he's so tall. Picked him up for 13k. And he is going to link up with our first right back, who is going to be Raphael. Nothing but respect for this guy. He is a tank, in my opinion. I think I, I put him there for chemistry, but I think he's just amazing. He's, he's one of the better Brazilian right backs. He can attack. He can defend. He's got a great shot. He's got four-star skill moves as well. So you know what you know what I'm saying, man. Four-star skill moves is brilliant. And in my opinion, 2,000 2, coins for him, that is a bargain. If this guy was silver, he'd be going for well over 50k. Trust me, he is a beast. Really, really do recommend him. He's a great right back, lads. And the majority of you can afford him as well. Left back then, we have got him in form, Jordi Alba, as you can see. Going to link up with our centre back. Um, he... I, I don't know what to make of this guy. I've got mixed opinions because you all know I don't like attacking left backs. It really does grind my gears when they just they just keep pushing. And that is what you get with this guy. It's just non-stop attacking. But when it comes to attacking, he is very, very good at it. I mean, 90 pace, 82 dribbling. That's like a that's better than a lot of wingers on this game. And he, he is a left back. So he is good when it when it comes to those sort of stats. But defending, you've got to question, man. I know it says he got 80 defending, but you just don't see him in defense. And it's annoying and it's frustrating, but that's what that's what you get. He's a lot more suited to the left wing back position and not left back. But that's what you get with Jordi Alba attacking. Like I told you, he is very very good, man, and I recommend him if you're going to use use him for attacking purposes. Uh, so, uh, CDM. Then we have got our first CDM is going to be Alberto Zep. Zapata, I think that's how you pronounce him. Never used him before. All I've got to say is this is one hidden gem. Trust me, lads. Picked him up for, you know what, I'll give him a go. He's there for chemistry. He looks okay. He is originally a centre midfield player, but he looks okay. 70 defending. Maybe I could chuck him in centre defensive mid. He did nothing but non-stop perform. Four-star weak foot as well, so you know he can pluck passes on any foot. 
Uh, 71 pace, but he's a CDM. 70 defending, which is great. He's strong. He's got a 75 pass, so he can pluck a pass out. And he's got four star skills, uh, four star weak foot as well, lads, which is always a plus. Uh, I picked him up for 4K, and he, he was definitely worth it. He's a silver card as well, so you know what? Sometimes I just think maybe these silver cards could be a little bit overpowered. This guy was definitely one of them. He was such a hidden gem. Never heard of him in my life, and he was a great player. And in left midfield in this team then, lads, I originally I would have preferred to go for Jesse Rodriguez. He was my original pick. I mean, I did want to go for him, but he I found that he played for the Real Madrid B side. So I had to go for this guy, and that is going to be Cruzat. Heard a lot of mixed opinions about him, but he did manage to crop up for me and do what was needed. He scored a few goals. Uh, he was in the right positions. I would obviously prefer if he had a stronger weak foot, maybe maybe four-star skills, but... I mean, you can you can ask for that on every player, lads. He did what was needed for me. He's fast. He's got good dribbling, and he managed to score. So, I mean, I don't know what one more you want from him. Right mid, then we have got over. Well, I can't call him overpowered. He's just an absolute. He's probably one of the best right midfield players you're ever gonna find on FIFA. He is an absolute tank. Love him. Would have him in any team. Five star skills. Four star weak foot. Spoke about him so much more in the in the past, but lads, you'll already know how good he is. 86 dribbling, 83 pace, and he does everything. Cuts inside on his left foot, and he, he's just, he's absolutely insane. All I can do is recommend him. He is the perfect right mid or right wing player for 9,000 coins, trust me. Center attacking mid then, lads. We have got Juan Mata. Probably one of my favorite players in this team. I just, I just think he's incredible. I loved his right wing version, which was the informed version. His center attacking midfield version is just as good. 83 pace, 87 dribbling, 80 pass. He can pluck a pass. He's got a great shot on him. He's got four-star skills. He's one of the most agile sort of balanced players. It's so hard to get him off the ball when he's wiggling around and stuff. The ball seems to stick to his foot. Only bad thing is he's left-footed. I love my center attacking midfield players and just my players in general to be right-footed. It just makes things easier. But he's left-footed. And when it comes to plucking a pass, this is your man. He, he has a perfect pluck. And for 35k, in my opinion, that's a bargain. He, for an 86 rated player of his calibre, that is a bargain. He is brilliant. Up front then, we have got... I'm going to pick them both. First up is Suarez. And we've got Papis Cisse. I am going to be doing a save or splash to cast with these two because they are just ridiculously similar it is it is just retarded how similar these two are man i mean they, they, it's like they're the same card almost um they're both strong they're both quick uh suarez maybe does na nip it when it comes to like having a little bit of a better shot maybe because his finesse is just unstoppable suarez has four star skills and a four star weak foot as papi cisse has a four star weak foot only three star skills but they're both just as i i don't know who's better i'm gonna have to do a save or splash the cash lads but they're both just beasts. They both get in the right positions at the right time. Like I said, they got the strength. And they both they both can finish as well. So two brilliant players. And this team, lads, sum it up, is just... It was an incredible little team. Really did, you know. I just thought... I'll try some of these Russian League players and some of these Spanish players out. And in the end, I managed to just come up with this team. And it was a good team. So, lads, once again, I hope you've enjoyed. Like I said, I'm going to be trying to get my channel back on track next week. But um, I hope you've enjoyed anyway. And I'll leave you with some goals. I'll speak to you next time. Peace.